Hi and welcome to me, Jennifer Valentine Miller, on another edition of the Jennifer Valentine Miller Show. During a time when we are thinking about the climate and the effect it is having upon our health and the global economy. So the Vote Wise campaign helps Christians engage with the issues relating to economy, health, education, and the environment. So although the media attention is often focused on global climate change, this is just one of a number of interrelated issues that have significant implications for our planet. These include lack of clean drinking water, erosion and degradation of fertile agricultural land, increased risk of flooding as sea levels rise, irreversible destruction of wildlife habitats, increase in toxic waste and pollution. The seriousness and complexity of these environmental issues means it is crucial for Christians to be informed and to reflect on them in the light of biblical Christian faith. So does the Bible really have anything to say about environmental issues? Certainly the Bible authors did not experience the same kind of damage to the planet that the industrialization and exponential population growth of the past couple of centuries have caused. Yet the Bible offers theological perspectives and ethical principles for living in a way that brings honour to God, as well as respect in the world, which as Chris, Chris Wright would say, will have a far reaching impact on how biblical sensitive Christians will want to frame their ecological ethics today. So we lived in a world that is the creation of a living God who has poured something of his own creativity into it and who values it all. The creation account of Genesis 1 repeatedly tells us God saw that it was good. And the final verdict of the whole of his handiwork is that it is very good in Genesis 1.31. The Bible reminds us that the creation reflects God's glory and majesty, as can be found in Psalm 19.1-2. Its detailed descriptions of the natural world emphasize God's power as creator and sustainer. They also express a sense of wonder at the working of the natural world, which reminds us of our transcendence. This can be found in the Psalms and the book of Job. The Psalmist will call upon the whole of the natural world, not just human beings to give praise to the Lord. So how we treat God's creation says something about our love and respect for the Creator. <music>